If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, welcome to Zerantic on Introduction to Workday Prism Analytics. This video provides an overview of Workday's Prism Analytics capabilities. Prism Analytics allows you to analyze your Workday and non-Workday data together without exporting to a separate data warehouse. This makes analysis faster, easier, more secure, and actionable within Workday. Disclaimer Agenda In this video, we will cover an overview of Prism Analytics, data sources in Prism Analytics, datasets in Prism Analytics, and the dataset pipeline. With Workday Prism Analytics, you can analyze your Workday and non-Workday data together in Workday without exporting to a separate data warehouse. This makes analysis faster, easier, more secure, and performed where users can take action. Prism Analytics Phases There are four key phases when working with Prism Analytics. Create datasets to describe the data structure. Apply security to the data. Make the data available for analysis by publishing. Analyze and visualize the published data. Datasets a dataset is a prism analytics object that describes and controls underlying data. It defines the data structure and processing logic to manipulate the data. The dataset contains the metadata. Dataset creation. There are two types of datasets. Base datasets are created from source files like uploads or SFTP integrations. Derived datasets are created from existing datasets and allow blending data. Prism Data Sources A Prism data source is created when you publish a dataset. It loads the transformed data defined in the dataset. Datasets typically blend workday and non-workday data. Prism Data Sources Prism data sources differ from standard workday data sources in that they are created by users, have their own primary business object, can be deleted by unpublishing the dataset, only support some report types, fields, and calculations. Supported calculations. Prism Analytics supports arithmetic, constants, date functions, evaluate expression, prompts, substrings, and more. Creating reports for datasets. To optimize reports for Prism Analytics, make them advanced and enabled as a web service. Use index data sources when possible. Only include the minimum data set required. Custom reports. Simple, matrix, and composite report types have the best support in Prism Analytics datasets. Some advanced report features are not supported. Datasets. A Prism Analytics dataset describes and controls workday or external data. Datasets allow blending and analyzing workday and external data together in workday. Datasets. With datasets, you don't need to export data to a separate data warehouse and buy tools. You can analyze blended data directly within Workday. Derived datasets. A derived dataset blends data from multiple sources like Workday data and external data. It is based on existing datasets as its data source. Derived datasets allow actions like joins and unions. Dataset workspace. The dataset workspace allows dynamically editing the dataset definition. You can add calculated fields, stages, and more before saving all changes. The edit dataset task is where you make changes to the dataset definition to manipulate data. This task acts like a single page application. This means you can interact with elements on the task dynamically as if it were its own application. Thank you for watching our video and please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.